Hey guys and gals, this is Alex Olson with Exchange CRE, and here we are for another multifamily minute. And as we always do, I have LoopNet open here, searching the Kansas City market only, filtered down to multifamily, and filtered further to product that has appeared on uh, LoopNet within the last seven days because we've done this uh, recently here. So. Uh, there are a couple new products, actually, a couple new apartment complexes to be considered. Uh, just off the top here, this one on Charlotte uh, is one I spoke about last week, and it is um, actually listed at a similar price that I had it listed for last time around about a year ago. Uh, so that could be of interest to you there. Happy to talk to you about that further, as I'm pretty uh, familiar with the beings that I sold it. Uh, last year for a client. That moves us into these other two new properties. Let's highlight this smaller property here, which is 10 units uh, in Overland Park, Kansas. And we're going to talk a lot about Johnson County today. So let's zoom into Overland Park. We know this is on the Kansas side. Typically, you know, Joko land of no cash flow. Uh, 10 units, something you can bite off here, a small chunk. Uh, it's about uh, let's see here. What is that per unit? It's 125,000 per unit, which seems to be reasonably priced. I've clicked into this listing, and we can do that here as well. Um, I, I believe it's fairly unrehabbed. We have window AC units, which you can see there. We've got a basement uh, access. I don't know if that's for the units or just for the basements. Um, so you, you can see the, that they are you know, a bit older, definitely a true value add play. Um, I think that a person could easily come in here, improve these a lot and get a lot out of it. It's also going to appreciate very well. I've seen stuff in Overland Park sell for $200,000 a unit once it is fully rehabbed and stabilized. Uh, so there definitely is a play here for this type of product. Easy way to snag up 10 units in this market. I like this overhead view here. So you can see all the parking spaces and how these two buildings really uh, coincide together. It's got pitch roof. So this could be of interest to somebody who wants to take down a value add project in the heart of Johnson County. Excellent, outstanding location. Never have any issues ever finding renters for this. And you can really push the rents on it with probably 15 to 20,000 per unit here. So I did want to highlight that particular property as it could be of interest if you're on a 1031 exchange deadline or want a easy price point into the Overland Park market. Next up is this particular 53 units for six and a half million. It's a different style and type of product. You can see that um, there's a lot going on here with all the different units in the makeup. This is actually a current Litec property, uh, which means that it has to be decontrolled to be able to bring up to market rate, which sounds like it could happen fairly quickly. I'm not sure all the details on how soon you can bring it out of uh, Litec. I'm happy to chat through and run this down with you. It's listed at over 100,000 a unit. Could be a, a good deal for uh, anyone who wants to get into this market, who's willing to be patient as you turn these to market rate. Again, they're controlled at the, at the LIHTC rate right now. Um, and a uh, great opportunity in the heart of Johnson County. Price 122,000 plus per unit. Uh, maybe a little strong, but again, seen stuff sell for well over 200,000 unit once fully stabilized. Excellent set of photos here. You can see where it's located in the heart of Johnson County. Standard Mansard roofs on these look like they're in pretty good shape for the most part. Central heating and cooling. Um, independent access here. We've got, of course, gas and electric. These look like these would be some of the more stabilized units with paint and carpet and tile. Looks pretty good, right? Uh, the only downside, again, on this is it's uh, you do have to wait for the decontrol period to wear off and uh, would need to cash flow for you for a couple of years without being able to do too much with rents. So happy to take that one down with you as well. 
uh, again, I think about a five and a half cap rate here, which is appropriate for the market. Okay, so just wanted to go back to this here in LoopNet. That's it for new uh, deals this week on the LoopNet marketplace. Now let's head over to the MLS, which again, I use Zillow to uh, filter this out for us, uh, as well as you know, $500,000 plus uh, price range and which usually get us into you know four units or above uh, on most any day. And there are a couple of new ones here. And so we have this fourplex up in the North Kansas City here, close to the airport. If we were to zoom in, there's actually two here in Platte Woods uh, near Parkville, likely excellent school districts, um, two different sellers and two different um, property types here. So this you can see actually has two two stall garages for these. This is likely two duplexes. Uh, this is a, a standard fourplex side by side. All of these would be excellent value. The price of five fifty per unit uh, seems fair and reasonable. I would imagine, unless I'm missing something on these, that within the next couple of weeks, the next few times, those will no longer be available. They'll be marked as pending, um, though they could be you know, a good option to take down at this point, but uh, we've seen duplexes and fourplexes fly off the shelf relatively quickly. Okay, so let's zoom back out here, we get our, our bearings, and we do have this set of uh, nine units here in Overland Park. I did a drill down into this, and it's nine units, townhouse style, Sounds like it's three full duplexes plus three half duplexes. So three duplexes would be six units plus three additional units for 2.7. If I've got my unit count correct on that, that's quite a stiff price per unit compared to what we just looked at on the loop net side of things. Uh, that's well over 200 and I don't know what it is, 225,000 a unit. Um, so that's something we could double check on to see if you're in this price range to buy some great looking duplexes. Let's zoom in into that location. So it's on uh, 69 Highway down at 151st Street, which is class A market all around. Um, I would imagine these are relatively new construction and um, probably more like condos, but uh, very large. Looks like they all have basements and garages and um, you know, would, would be a, an excellent opportunity to buy up some expensive, but very nice duplexes in a class A sub market. Again, pretty pricey, just doing the, the math on that. Um, what is that, 300,000 a unit here? So let's see, 2.7 million divided by nine. Yeah, 300,000 a unit. That's probably pretty tough unless rents are somewhere north of 2,500 a unit. Um, which I'm not, uh, I, I don't think that they are, but maybe they are. So shows it was built in 1999. Something definitely looking at, look into for you. Uh, could be a great option for an exchange to park some money and take advantage of appreciation and very fast rising rents in this area. Okay, let's zoom back out and uh, see where that puts us. So then we have, uh, again, so we've been in Overland Park here quite a bit. So this is in Mission, Kansas, which is essentially Overland Park for two duplexes for 790. So you're looking at uh, 180, 190 a unit on this. These are older style. I clicked into it. Um, you know, they haven't really been updated at all. Uh, you can see it's got basements, so they're probably fairly large. and you know, they're rented out, which is good, likely under rented, you know, again, getting close to that 200,000 a unit. And with this age and vintage, you know, rents would hopefully be around 1500. Um, not sure what they are. So uh, again, expensive, but we do see duplexes and fourplexes fly off the shelf, especially under a million dollars. So we'll keep our eye on that one. Um, happy to take a look at that one, dive deeper into it for you, and uh, see if you know, maybe there's some play here on some of these in Overland Park for the most part.
And I believe that's basically it from the new standpoint. We covered these last two um, buildings here in Overland Park in the past. And, if, and in fact, they're on LoopNet as well. So um, that kind of takes us through what we've got on market uh, in the last week or so. Again, there's some other properties that have been floating around out there for a while that we've seen that we've talked about and highlighted just scrolling through these here, uh, duplexes, fourplexes that are very, very expensive, um, uh, again, across the board. So sometimes it's worth coming back to these ones that have been on the market 60, 80, 90, 100 days and you know, rattling the chains of the listing agents and seeing if there's a play there to um, you know, get their attention again. Buy them up. Maybe this, the seller is finally willing to come down the price and, and sell. So I'm happy to dive into those and, and take a look with you as well on that. It'd be, be kind of fun. That's how I bought my uh, properties in the past, actually, was taking old listings and going back to them and finding out what's kind of going on. Okay. Let's go back then to Google Earth, which gives us a clean slate of the Kansas City market here from a satellite image. We talked a lot about Johnson County and not only were there several properties on LoopNet and the MLS, we actually have a few properties in Johnson County as well that would be available for the right buyer. Uh, you may or may not see these on our marketplace, may not make it there, may hold them, hold them back due to where the sellers are at in the market, but we are actively available with a few in Johnson County. Um, most of this county, you can see it's quite large. Here it goes really down to Edgerton. Spring Hill is in here. If I zoom in, yeah, Spring Hill, Stillwell, all the way over to State Line uh, through Shawnee. And then of course the Kansas River here is a lot of the dividing line. But really this, I-35 corridor here is the heart of Johnson County. And we have uh, eight units in this area at a reasonable price, uh, similar to what you've seen on LoopNet actually, hopefully a little bit less than that with very similar fig finishes and fixtures, et cetera. Um, and then we also have uh, some units here down in uh, Olathe that could be of interest to our buyers, whether or not you're on exchange or not, doesn't really matter uh, because they're all gonna be reasonably priced similar or less than what you've seen on LoopNet. So just highlighting this area here, you can see really the, the lighter, or sorry, the darker green areas where there's a lot of trees and more homes. Uh, this lighter area is where there's more industrial, or retail or commercial, true commercial properties. And so you can see how popular this I-35 corridor is in here and how the city expands and grows into the, all these other small towns within uh, Johnson County. So very wealthy county, exceptional schools. Uh, you'll never have an issue finding any renters. That's why you see that they're so expensive online, but you won't have any issues with rents going up. It'll be one of the first markets to appreciate. It'll be one of the first markets to see higher rent growth. Um, there's just always is a demand because of all the benefits of suburbia. This is classic United States suburbia here that you think of with all the benefits of safe, secure, sprawling, access to all the amenities, um, you know, that includes concert venues, that includes bars, restaurants, shopping, uh, auto, car dealers, anything you need, you can get in this uh, area. So while it's typically the land, no cash flow, when we're in a high inflationary market, uh, it's worth it to take a deep look into this market if you can get some good deals. I've sold a lot in Johnson County over the years, mostly all off market. Um, and there is over 600,000 residents that live in this county. So there is a lot of product available. If you can get it for a great price, this will do exceptionally well for you for building wealth. And that will do it for this week's 
Multifamily Minute. I'm Alex Olson with Exchange Commercial Real Estate. I will talk to you soon.